early 90s, a professor up in Canada started looking at playing soccer with robots as a way of showing the advancement in robot technology. A number of us picked it up as a way to move robotics research forward. Welcome to RoboCup 2007, the largest and most exciting robotics event in the world. My name is Oskar von Strick, I'm the team leader of the Darmstadt Dribblers. RoboCup brings together some of the most talented students from all over the world. There are different leagues and all are focusing on different parts and eventually they should merge into one team which can compete against a normal human team. We don't control the robots. No remote control. You do not know what these machines are doing on the field because they are autonomous and so many things can happen. Many people don't realize this. You know, first time you participate in RoboCup, you just enjoy the feeling and the, and, and the audience and the ambience. But then you see your robots on the field and then you want them to score, then you want them to win. If this robot walks fast, turns around, does all these motions autonomously and then scores a goal, it is, it is unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable to have this finally working. Things which are so natural to humans are so difficult to robots. It's very fundamental research. If it's achievable in 2050, I hope so. It's a great challenge. We already have robots that can walk, that can communicate, that can kick the ball. So I don't think it's uh, unreasonable at all that we could do that.